Careful, careful, we got a hype beast coming through, a Zaro, wanted by night. In this video, I'm gonna tell you everything you need to know about this fragrance, regarding some unfortunate news, who this fragrance is for, if it's worth the hype, and if it lives up to the expectations that some of the other influencers may have given it. So let's start off first by looking at the presentation. This is the box that a Zaro wanted by night comes in, kind of like a brownish black to gold. I really like the look of that. And then on the top, you get their signature revolver style bottle top that comes with the bottle, right? You get the quote from Azaro on the side. Life is a celebration. Step into the light and enjoy the moment. It's your time to shine. Then on the back, you get some product information and ingredients. This is the bottle that it comes in here. This is Azaro Wanted by Night in 100 milliliters, 3.4 fluid ounces. As a collaboration, Azaro Wanted by Night was perfumed by Michel Girard and Quentin Bish in 2018 in France. And this is Eau de Parfum Concentration. I don't care what anyone says. I actually really like the look of these bottles, that revolver style bottle. In my opinion, some may find it tacky. I find it pretty cool and unique. It gives it a story when people ask when they see my collection, whoa, what's that? And I kind of can explain to them about this fragrance. It's a storytelling piece. I love that they did this. It represents the line very well. So on the top, you get that kind of revolver style with the cap kind of built into there. Cap comes out and then that's where the atomizer sits underneath. So the cap just says Azaro on it. And then the bottle kind of goes from a silver to amberish hue gradient. And then on the bottom, you get the batch code and information there. My batch code is ABX41EB, which I think actually makes this less than a year old. So if anyone was wondering what the new formulations are like, this review is right for you because this is a newer bottle. So what does this fragrance smell like? Obviously that's the most important aspect of a fragrance. On Fragranica, it says that the top notes are cinnamon, mandarin orange, lavender, and lemon. The middle notes, fruity notes, incense, cumin, and red cedar. The base notes, tobacco, vanilla, cedar, leather, benzoin, isoe, super, cypress, and patchouli. I think that there's actually two stages with this fragrance, which I kind of can help explain by telling you a little bit of a story. And I want you to imagine this, okay? So picture that you are about to go on a date with a beautiful woman, right? You're going to pick her up, you're in a car, you're about to pick her up at her front doorstep. You spray this on. This fragrance opens nice, fruity, bright, airy, and clean. That lavender gives a nice, fresh, aromatic, smoothing appeal to this fragrance that makes it very nice, clean, and presentable. That's exactly what you want when you first have an introduction to a woman. You don't want to scream into her face with super loud fragrance, you just kind of want to come across as a pleasant person to be around, right? So you're picking her up, you're going for a dinner date. You take her to that restaurant. When you go into the dinner and you're sitting down, dressed nice, casually, this fragrance will start to change and alter in the way that it presents itself. As you're sitting through that dinner, this becomes a little bit of a darker, seductive sweetness. Instead of that playful, energetic vibe that you were getting in the opening from the fruitiness, now the vanilla comes through. That cinnamon becomes a little bit more forefront and that tobacco that gives a nice earthy sweetness to it is now ever so prominent. Like I said, this fragrance definitely transitions from the opening to the dry down. This fragrance exactly exemplifies what it would be to be wanted by night. I don't know if they really meant for that, but this is exactly what that fragrance does for me. That's the, also the situations that I think that this is perfect for. Anytime you want attention from a woman, this is what this was intended to be used as. The day to night transition is where I think that this fragrance is the best. So obviously in the opening, I'm getting a little bit more of that mandarin orange and those citrus fruity notes with a little bit of a head of that lavender being shown there. As this dries a little bit towards the base, it becomes a little bit more woody, vanillic, tobacco. I don't really get any of that leather. Sure, there's some sort of ambery accord being created here and patchouli not so much. That's pretty much all I'm picking up in this fragrance. I think that it actually transitions in the perfect way, especially for a date night. It has a story to tell. This is sweet. It's not a very high quality smelling fragrance. It's very synthetic. It's not a natural smelling fragrance at all. It's a little bit of a playful flirtation sweetness that I think is kind of attributed with the younger male. That being said though, it is actually age versatile because I don't think it's too playfully sweet. Decide for yourself if it's right for you, but that's just the suggestion is I think that this leans a little bit more youthful. It's not really dress up, but dress good, present yourself nice, and this fragrance will represent you amazingly. This is a scent profile that's actually really hard not to like. It's kind of an amped up version of the OG. They actually kind of just took that DNA and amplified it and made it a little bit more of a nighttime wear of the original. This is a very good fragrance that a lot of people are going to like. It will definitely pull compliments for you if that's what you're in the mood for. But I also think that being said, that this fragrance is actually more versatile than a lot of reviewers will give it credit for. Because of that bright, sweet, clean opening, I genuinely do not think that this is a fall winter exclusive like a lot of reviewers are going to tell you. I think that this is pretty much good for any night with a little bit of a cooler air, even in the summer, spring. But because of the note profile and because of the way that this fragrance transitions, 
conditions, I could see this being perfect from that transition from summer to fall. It gives that bright fruity sweetness appeal that you would get from a summer fragrance, but also transitions into a little bit of a warm, spicier, woody fragrance that you would get from something that's more cold weather appropriate. So it is definitely perfect for the fall. So now let's get into the performance, a category that I totally understand means a lot to a lot of people. Although it didn't perform exactly as I expected because of some of the hype that I've seen online, it still did have rather good performance. So let's discuss that now. Also keep in mind that this is a 2023 bottle, less than a year old. It could change with time, but this is what I'm getting at this current moment throughout my multiple testings. So like I said, when you first spray this on, it opens nice, bright, airy, fruity, and clean, giving you about two feet of total projection. Now over the course of the next two hours, it's going to back its way a little bit closer to your skin. You're not gonna lose a lot of projection, but it's gonna work its way to about a foot and a half or so. At this point in the fragrance, that's when that transition starts to happen. That fruity top note that's a little bit bright and airy is starting to fade and you're gonna pick up on that vanillic kind of ambery sweetness that peaks its way through with those spices. And you're gonna get about a foot to a foot and a half, still a good bubble around you of projection until about the six to eight hour mark where it starts to back its way to a skin scent. I found that this was off of my skin around that eight hour mark comfortably, seven to eight hours pretty much within every testing. But for the occasions that I would wear this in, I still think that the performance is very good. It's not disappointing by any means, but I mean, some of the hype that I've seen some of the other reviewers give this saying it lasts all day and it's super loud and that you barely have to spray three sprays on. I don't think so. I mean, at least with my current batch, that's not the case. Obviously everyone's different. Their skin chemistry is going to affect the way that this fragrance performs. There is a very disappointing news with all this being said, because I have given it some credit here, obviously. And that unfortunate news is the fact that this has actually been discontinued. So if you do want to get your hands on it, unfortunately, you're only going to be able to find it through discounters. So sampling this before you buy it is going to be a little bit harder now. And it's probably gonna get more expensive as time goes on, as availability becomes a little bit more limited. So if you do see this pop up on discounters and you did want to buy it, I highly recommend doing that. Just a suggestion, don't panic buy it. We're gonna see this start phasing its way out, unfortunately. And this kind of also leaves a little bit of a question in my head because I've seen nothing but positive reviews online. Everyone always hypes this fragrance up and it leaves me to wonder why would Azaro discontinue this product if it sold so good and everyone loved it and it was one of their top sellers, what made them discontinue it? Was it only getting hype from the online fragrance community or was the actual overall community receiving this fragrance as well as we thought people were online? And that kind of leaves me with that question at the end of the day to think about. I do genuinely think that this is a very, very good fragrance, although not being as good as some people may tell you. I still think that this is every little bit worthy of an 8.75 out of 10. It's not my favorite Azaro Wanted Flanker. I still prefer Azaro the Most Wanted Parfum, but hey, to each their own. I highly suggest that you check out this review right here where I go over my favorite Azaro the Most Wanted Flanker, Azaro the Most Wanted Parfum. I'll see you over there. Thanks for watching.